Here at Forecast in the Ozarks, six years in a row. Well, you know, back when, when that cold wave hit, uh, temperatures, I mean, once we got, you know, to dark, I mean, temperatures would just crater. Well, that's not going to happen tonight, and there's a couple of reasons why. One is this right here, winds which remain very brisk out of the south. You can hear the wind howling through the uh, upper branches of the trees in your yard. It, there's another reason, though, why the uh, temperatures aren't going to drop much, and that's the cloud cover that's increasing across the area. Cloud cover at night, it acts like a blanket, wants to retain that heat near the surface. Meanwhile, the wind likes to mix the air up, so it doesn't allow the uh, air near the surface to cool off. This is what you get. Temperatures kind of holding steady in the low to mid 50s. And I can show you that just taking a look at the weather trends here. We'll take you back to the beginning of the day because this is nice to see that that huge jump in temperatures throughout the morning hours into the early afternoon into the low 60s. But notice as soon as the sunset, temperatures really have not moved very much, sitting at 53 over the last several hours. So uh, mild and windy night tonight, mild at least for late December. And we're going to find a mild and windy day on wind on Thursday, I should say, ahead of this incoming cold front. That cold front will uh, deliver a chance of some severe weather off to the south and maybe even a few stronger storms uh, for our southeastern counties, uh, areas like Fulton County, Sharp County, uh, Oregon County, and points northeast across southeast Missouri. So, uh, you know, places like Melbourne and uh, maybe uh, Salem here in Arkansas and Ash Flat and Evening Shade, this is where we could find a few stronger storms late in the evening tomorrow night. Overnight tonight, though, it looks quiet. Uh, we'll find uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Same for Thursday. And then as we head into the overnight hours, we'll watch showers and thunderstorms. They'll start breaking out and uh, impacting our eastern counties east of Highway 63. And then it will stay kind of showery throughout the rest of the night. In fact, it looks like we'll see waves of additional showers throughout the day on Friday into Friday night, and then it will pull away as we head towards Saturday morning. Meanwhile, areas to the west, we won't have to deal with any wet weather, but we will find mostly cloudy skies, I think, on Friday into uh, Friday night. As far as rainfall amounts, you can see uh, areas basically east of a Harrison to uh, Salem, Missouri line. Long and east of that line, that's where we're going to find some measurable rainfall. In fact, uh, with the thunderstorm activity, there's going to be some pockets in there where we could see maybe over half an inch of rain. Overnight tonight, temperatures uh, dropping into the upper 40s in our eastern counties. Looks like low to mid 50s for lows here to the west. And then for tomorrow, we'll see highs in the mid to upper 60s with another round of very gusty winds. Wind gusts uh, probably topping 40 miles per hour for areas along and north of Highway 60. As far as Friday is concerned, got that cool air coming in behind that front. We'll still have lingering rain here in areas like Mountain Home up through West Plains and Thayer and uh, Alton uh, up into maybe uh, southern sections of Shannon County. That'll keep temperatures cooler there. Meanwhile, further west, mostly cloudy skies, but still managing to squeak out a high maybe near 51. Upcoming holiday weekend, looking good. It looks like we'll find partly sunny skies Saturday and Sunday. Highs in the low 60s Saturday, mid 60s on Sunday. And as we're ringing in the new year, the weather will be quiet and not terribly cold for the end of the year with uh, temperatures in the low 40s at midnight. Now in the wake of this weekend, we'll have another storm moving into the region. This one's going to pack more of a punch and there will likely be more in the way of moisture and instability out ahead of that system. And with that, I think there's going to be a broader chance for strong to severe storms. Looks like the focus for that will probably be to the south and southeast, but I think we could see that risk get into at least north central Arkansas, if not south central Missouri, and we'll have to watch also for areas maybe a bit further north and west. Just kind of file that away as a possibility for Monday afternoon and a Monday night. And rainfall, we should see a good soaking with that one, particularly in the same areas that we'll see the good soaking as we uh, wrap up this week and head into Friday night. In the wake of that storm, temperatures cool off again. Looks like a high at near 50 on Tuesday and in the mid 40s on Wednesday. Lauren? All right, Jamie, thanks. And even with that warm up, some parts of 